Police are trying to put pressure on family members to help solve the case of a missing toddler that has spanned five years. On February the 4th, 18-month-old Joshua Davis Jr. disappeared. That was back in 2011. And now police are releasing more information and a call to action. KXAN's Heather Jackson has this story. I've gotten notes on the table before that I was a baby killer. Since Sabrina Benitez's son has been missing, she says she has been a target of criticism. She says she was in the bedroom when she realized her son Joshua Davis Jr. was missing. I started looking. I looked in the dryer under the bed, everywhere, places I knew he wasn't at. And since then, I haven't seen him. Since then, she says she has been working with law enforcement to find answers. I've been here every time they've asked me to come, every time they've needed an interview, a polygraph, anything, I've come here. The New Braunfels Police Department says that, yes, everyone inside that home that night was interviewed. But what those people have told the police department hasn't helped them solve the case. Um, we, we have reason to believe that the information that they're providing us is not fully truthful. Investigators say drugs were inside the home and hidden before someone called police, but they have not made any arrests related to the drugs and have not made a connection with the child's disappearance. Sadly, they do not believe the child will be reunited with his family. We would hope to find him alive. Unfortunately, the evidence that we have points us in the direction that he's deceased. That is something Sabrina says she will never accept. I just want my son home. I just want closure. I just want answers. I just want my family complete. That's all I want. In New Braunfels, Heather Jackson, KXAN News. Police say right now there are no suspects and no leads. Authorities have devoted a lot of resources to try to find Joshua over the last five years. In the days after his disappearance, police told us more than 100 Volunteers helped in the search efforts, and today New Braunfels police tell us it would be impossible to calculate the number of people involved or the number of hours they worked to find the boy. But they do say they are following up on more than 1,000 tips since his disappearance.